Hi everyone, so this question was asked in GATE 2024 EC question paper and for me this was the best ever analog electronic question that GATE has asked, best ever in the history of GATE. So we will solve this question from basics, every single thing will be clear, clear to you. So watch the video till the end. So the circuit was given, you needed to comment on V01 and V02 waveform, this was the input and these two open circuits were given, okay. So these were the options. V01 has no delay, op is triangular, V01 has 1 microsecond delay, 2 microsecond delay and output is trapezoidal or triangular. So V01, delay of V01 and output, this is, these are the two things that you needed to comment on. Saturation voltage of op R plus 10 and minus 10, right. Now we need to comment on V01 and V02. So let's solve this question. So here you can see two stages, right, two stages you can see, this is the first one. And this is the second one. Tell me what is the first one? First one is the non-inverting Smith trigger. First one is non-inverting Smith trigger. So let's solve the first stage. Okay. Then we will talk about the second stage. So let's solve the first stage. So this is the this is our stage one, which is non-inverting Smith trigger. And the input is given. So I hope most of you guys know how to solve the Smith trigger. Even if you don't know, we will deal here. So let's uh, solve the Smith trigger. So in Smith trigger, what do we know? In Smith trigger, we know that there is positive feedback involved and if there is positive feedback, that means there are only two possible output that is plus V set and minus V set. In negative feedback, you can have any output but in positive feedback, you can have only two output th that is plus V set and minus V set. That means your output can be plus 10 or minus 10. So while solving the Smith trigger circuit, always you need to assume any output one, right? So first I will assume any output. So let's assume. Let's assume my output that is V01 is plus 10 volt. I am assuming my output is plus 10 volt. So I am starting from plus 10 volt. Now tell me what will be this potential V positive. If output is plus 10 volt, so what will be this potential V positive. So if you directly know how to write, you can write. Otherwise you can apply nodal analysis as well. So I know how to write directly. So what will be my V positive? My V positive will simply be V01 into 10k. V01 into 10k plus V in into 100k divided by 10k plus 100k that would be 11 10k. So it would be V01 by 11 plus 10 V in by 11. Basically what I did this voltage into this resistance this voltage into this resistance divided by total resistance right. Now what did you assume? You assumed V01 to be plus 10 volt, right? So your V positive is 10 by 11 plus 10 V in by 11. Now tell me when it will go to minus V set. First we have assumed the output to be plus 10 volt. Now we have to write when it will go to minus V set. So we have assumed V0 to be plus 10. When it will go to minus V set? When V positive is less than V negative. That means your V positive is less than V negative. What is V negative? V negative is 0. When V positive is less than 0 volt, that means your output will go to minus V set. That means your output will be minus 10 volt, right? So when it will be minus 10 volt? When V positive is less than 0 volt, that means 10 by 11 plus 10 V, v in by 11 is less than 0 volt. That means V in is less than minus 1. So basically when your input voltage is less than minus 1 at that time your output will go to minus V set. So how will the characteristics look like? So this will be your characteristics output versus input. V node versus V. So what is the point? Breaking point is minus 1. This is the minus 1. So for V in greater than minus 1 your output is plus V set. So you will start from plus 10 volt. You will start from plus 10 volt and then you will move to, you will start from plus 10 volt and then you will move to minus 10 volt. Are you getting this point? This is the most important point in the Smith trigger. The point is that first I assumed 10 volt, then I went to minus 10 volt. So here I started from 10 volt. That means first I started from 10 volt and then I moved to minus 10 volt. So this is how the graph is going. 
this is how the graph is going right so i started from plus 10 volt and then i moved to minus 10 volt and where will be my 2 volt 2 volt will be somewhere here so let's assume this is 2 volt and this will be my minus 2 volt so if i say i am going from my input is going from 2 to minus 1 then my output will be plus 10 is that statement correct my first statement is my input is going from 2 to minus 1 then my output will be plus 10 volt is that statement correct yeah this is correct now my other statement is my input is going from minus 1 to minus 2 my output will be minus 10 volt is that statement correct my input is going from minus 1 to minus 2 my output will be minus 10 volt is that statement correct yeah this is correct now i am saying my input is going from minus 1 to 0 my input is going from minus 1 to 0 then my output will be plus 10 volt is that statement correct my input is going from minus 1 to 0 volt and my output will be plus 10 volt is that statement correct no we can't comment because here we are going from 2 to minus 2 not opposite direction here we are going from 2 to minus 2 because what did i say first i started from 10 then i moved to minus 10 so i started from 10 and then i moved to minus 10 now what i will do i will start from minus 10 and then i will move to plus 10 are you getting my point i am starting now i will start from minus 10 and move to plus 10 so there this condition will come minus 1 to 0 right so always you need to see what did you assume at the beginning that's why i always say never mug up smith trigger always solve it during the examination so when i draw the output waveform it will be used so you will realize why did i why i am doing the derivation here so I wanted to give the concept of Smith trigger so that no one get confused. So after that you will never get confused in Smith trigger. Now let's assume, now I am assuming my output to be minus 10 volt. Now I will find when I will get plus 10 volt, right? I am assuming my output to be minus 10 volt. Now I will find when I will get plus 10 volt. So I am assuming my output to be minus 10 volt. What will be my V positive? V positive I have already found here. That is V naught by V naught 1 by 11, V naught 1 by 11 plus 10 V i by 11, right? My output is minus 10 volt. So, when V positive is greater than V negative, that means when V positive is, what is V negative? That is 0 volt. What is V negative? That is 0 volt. When V positive is greater than 0 volt, my output will be plus V set, that is 10 volt. And here V01 we already know. V01 we already know that is minus 10. So minus 10 by 11 plus 10 Vi by 11. So basically, when your minus 10 by 11 plus 10 Vi by 11 is greater than 0 volt, at that time your V0 will be plus 10 volt. That means your V in should be greater than 1 volt. So when your V in is greater than 1 volt, your V0 will be plus 10. So here you are going from minus 10 to plus 10. So how will the characteristics look like? So the characteristics will look something like this. And this is your V0 versus V in. What is the break-in point? The point is 1 volt. Now you are going from minus V set to plus V set. That means you are going from minus 10 to plus 10. So your arrow should be something like this right got my point so we'll make it clear so for v in greater than 1 volt your output will be plus 10 so for v in less than 1 volt your output will be minus 10 and then we are moving ahead are you getting my point what did you assume first that you need to draw initially whatever you assumed first you assumed v no, v v not to be minus 10 so initially you have to draw something like this. In analog electronics, we never apply formulas, not a single formula, not a single derivation or anything. Of oh, so derivation is important, derivation is certainly important, but never the formula or anything. If you are comfortable with analog, you will be able to solve the problems very, very quickly without the formula. So, what did I do? I assumed my output to be minus 10 and when I go to know that when V in is greater than 1, my output will move to plus 10. So I am moving from minus 10 to plus 10. So like this, 
just when I get, get v in greater than 1, my output will be plus 10. Now, I will, uh, okay, let's assume this is 2 volt, this is 0 volt only and this will be some minus 2 volt. So, now I will say some statement, I will tell some statement, you need to tell me whether they are correct or no, okay. So, first statement, my input is moving from minus 2 to 0 volt, my input is moving from minus 2 to 0 volt and my output will be minus 10, is that correct? Yeah, this is correct. Now I will say my input is moving from 1 volt to 0 volt. My input is moving from 1 volt to 0 volt. My output will be minus 10. Can you say this by seeing this waveform? Is waveform go deke bol sakte I am moving from 1 to 0 volt. My output will be minus 10. No, you have to look here. You are moving from 1. 1 will be somewhere here. You are moving from 1 to 0 volt. You are moving from 1 to 0 volt. If you are moving from 1 to 0, that means your output will be plus 10. Are you getting my point? Here, if you say I am moving 1 to 0, my output will be minus 10, that will be wrong. This will be wrong. Okay. Now, what is the input? Based on that, we will make the graph. Okay. So, let's take the input. We are making the this is periodic by 8 microsecond that means this will be some 6 microsecond this will be 6 I am only writing 6 not 6 microsecond this will be 6 this will be 4 this will be 2 right this will be 1 somewhere in between there will be 3 5 will be there at 5 you will get 1 right this is your minus 2 at 5 you will get 1 volt, at 1 you will get 1 volt only. You can tell that right, this is simple mathematics, at 2 volt you will get 2, at 3 volt also you will get 1, at 6 volt you will get minus 2, the, oh sorry this is minus 1 actually, at 5 volt you will get minus 1 and at 7 volt also you will get minus 1 and 8 microsecond, not 7 volt sorry, at 7 microsecond you will get minus 1, at 6 microsecond you will get minus 2, at 5 microsecond you will get minus 1, at 4, 0, 3, 1 volt, 2, 2 volt, 1, 1 volt and 0, 0 volt, right? This you can tell. Now, let's see where we are moving. We are moving from 0 to plus 2 volt. In this, in this graph, we are moving from 0 to plus 2 volt. Let's, let's see the graph. 0 to plus 2 volt. We are moving from 0 to plus 2 volt. But only if you move from 0 to 1 volt only, your output will be minus 10. If you move from 1 to 2 volt, your output will be plus 10. So, if you are moving from 0 to 1 volt, if you are moving from 0 to 1 volt, your output will be minus 10. So, you will start from minus 10. This is how you will start. Minus 10 volt. Now, you are moving from 1 volt to 2 volt. If you are moving from 1 volt to 2 volt, if you are moving from 1 volt to 2 volt, your output will be plus 10. So, your output will go to plus 10 now. Output will go to plus 10 till 2 microsecond. Till 2 microsecond. This was 1 microsecond, right? This was 1 microsecond. This will be 2 microsecond. Now, what, what is happening? You are moving from 2 volt to 0 volt or 2 volt to minus 2 volt also you can say you are moving from 2 volt to minus 2 volt so you are moving backward now so are we moving backward no we are moving this in this direction in this graph so we have to take reference of the previous graph now you are moving from 2 to minus 1 if you are moving from 2 to minus 1 your output will be plus 10 volt if you are moving from 2 to minus 1 here you will have minus 1 volt right if you are moving from 2 volt to minus 1 volt that means till 5 microsecond you will have 10 volt so till 5 microsecond till 5 microsecond you will have 10 volt okay what will happen after that that you will see so this is 5 microsecond so, till 5 microsecond you will have 10 volt now after that what is happening you are moving from minus 1 to minus 2 you are moving from minus 1 to minus 2 your output will be minus 10 your output will be minus 10 minus 1 to minus 2 
that means till 6 microsecond your output will be minus 10. Till 6 microsecond your output will be minus 10. Now you are moving from 6 microsecond sorry now you are moving from till two, minus 2 we have moved now you are moving from minus 2 to 0 minus 2 to 0. Now you are moving from minus 2 to okay you are going in this direction. So minus 2 to 0 it will be minus 10 even if you move from minus 2 to plus 10 it will be minus 10 only even if you have moved from minus 2 to plus 1 volt even if you have moved from minus 2 to plus 1 volt 1 volt it would have been minus 10 only so it will be minus 10 only till 8 microsecond till 8 microsecond right Now tell me one thing, this should be 8 microsecond should come somewhere here because it should look symmetric. Now tell me one thing, they said that this is periodic that means it will be rising somewhat like this right, the waveform would go on, it would go on, it would go on till infinity right. So now that means at 9 microsecond you will be having 1 volt at 9 microsecond you will be having 1 volt that means you are moving from minus 2 to 1 volt you are moving from minus 2 to 1 volt that means till 9 microsecond you are moving from minus 2 to 1 volt that means till 9 microsecond you will have minus 10 volt only so this will be on 9 microsecond basically this is 4 microsecond this is 4 microsecond and this gap is also 4 microsecond now what will happen you will move from 1 to plus 2 if you are moving from 1 to plus 2, what is your output? Plus 10. After that, what will happen? You will move from 1 to plus 2. You will move from 1 to plus 2. So, your output will be plus 10. After that, what, what will happen? You will move from 2 to minus 1. If you move from 2 to minus 1, your output will be plus 10 only. Here, what will happen? You will move from 2 to minus 1. Till here, you will move. So, output will be plus 10 only. So, the cycle will keep on repeating with the time period of 8 microsecond. So, it will keep on re repeating like this. Are you understanding this point? It will keep on repeating. So, what is this time period? This is 8 microsecond which is being repeated. So, this 8 microsecond is being repeated again and again. Now, you see one waveform that is being repeated, but it is delayed by one microsecond. This waveform is delayed by one microsecond, which is being repeated. So, your V01 has a delo delay of, this is V01. So, V01 has a delay of, V01 has a delay of 1 microsecond. So, those who know the concept of Smith trigger, for them it will be easy to draw the output waveform. If you are able to draw the output waveform, you will be able to arrive this at this option. V01 has a delay of 1 microsecond. And as far as I know, there was only one option where it was showing that it has a delay of 1 microsecond only. Only one option was there where it was showing that it has a delay of 1 microsecond. So, without even drawing the final output, you could have, uh, for, by output I means here V02, okay. Output means V02. So, without even drawing the waveform of V02, you could tick the correct answer. Did you understand how it has a delay of 1 microsecond? Because you are having a certain periodic waveform, but after 1 microsecond, you take you need 1 microsecond, 1 microsecond of time to have a periodic waveform of 8 microsecond time period, right? So that's why your V01 has a delay of 1 microsecond, right? So it has a delay of 1 microsecond. Now, this particular output is applied to the input of next stage. Here your V01 is applied and now you have to analyze this circuit and this is the main portion of the question. So we will solve it. It may take 30 minutes I guess. So just watch the video till the end. It will be very very helpful for you in the interviews as well in every kind of exam. If you are this much like even I guess most of you didn't, did not even know how to solve the Smith trigger. You might have studied the Smith trigger but what is the actual meaning of Smith trigger you must have studied here right. Now I will tell you what is the actual meaning of integrator, what is the actual meaning of virtual short, what is the actual meaning of 
inductor how the current changes how output saturates everything we will tell in this particular video only so just hold on to it now i will draw v not one here and then we will solve this circuit okay yeah so do watch the video till the end okay so this was the v not one that we got now we will analyze the circuit for 0 to 1 microsecond so what is happening for t equals to 0 to 1 microsecond what what is happening v not one is minus 10 volt now there is this negative feedback involved so virtual short will be valid so here virtual short is valid virtual short is valid short valid virtual short is valid so this will be 0 volt let's uh, call this potential as vx this potential is vx so vx will be 0 volt now what is happening this is an inductor this is an inductor which is of 1 milli henry here v not 1 is minus 10 volt and here it is 0 volt now this inductor is coming across 10 volt that is constant because here this minus 10 volt is constant and here this 0 volt is constant this is constant at least for t equals to 0 to 1 microsecond for t equals to 0 to 1 microsecond your v not 1 is constant that means one end of inductor voltage is constant and other end of inductor voltage is also constant so this is coming across a constant voltage now what is the equation of current in inductor this direction i am taking as ilt okay this is my ilt i am taking assuming this one as ilt so what will be my ilt what is my ilt generally that is 1 by l integration vt dot dt if you have studied network analysis from me it will be very very easy to for you but i am assuming you don't know anything so if you don't know anything the, that's why i am solving this very very slowly so you know that it is constant voltage although this is zero to time, time t but vt is constant so what will be your ilt ilt will simply be input voltage vt by l right now what is your v look we are taking ilt in this direction right in this direction so better i should take ilt in the opposite one i should assume ilt in this direction i am assuming ilt in the opposite direction okay so what is my vt vt is plus 10 volt now look here it is zero here it is minus 10 so where the current will flow in this direction right zero volt and minus 10 so this is plus 10 volt and if plus 10 volt is here that means the current will flow from 0 volt to minus 10 volt so from 0 volt to minus 10 volt the current is flowing that is vt by l and value of v is tan t by l and l is 1 milli henry so now there is this current flowing that is tan t by 1 milli and since op amp will have 0 ampere current here right so the same current will be flowing through the resistance that will be tan t by 1 milli so what will be your output voltage the current is flowing in this direction the current is flowing in this direction so that will be your output voltage so what will be your output voltage this potential is 0 this potential will be v naught 2 so what will be your v naught 2 v naught 2 will simply be ilt into 1 kilo ohm right so it will be tan t by 1 milli into 1 kilo ohm right this will be your v naught 2 t so what is happening with v naught 2 for t equals to 0 to 1 microsecond for t equals to 0 to 1 microsecond this is your v naught 2 t so what is happening here the output is increasing the output is increasing linearly the output is increasing linearly but tell me one thing yeah tell me one thing what will be your v naught t v naught t at one microsecond v naught t at one microsecond will be tan into one micro divided by one milli into one kilo what it will be v naught 2 will be 10 volt right so v naught 2 will be 10 volt only so this will be 10 volt at one microsecond at one microsecond it will be 10 volt
this is one microsecond at one microsecond it is 10 volt now 10 volt is our saturation voltage as well now your output has saturated now output has saturated so those guys who don't think anything okay those guys who don't know much about op amp circuit what they will do they will apply virtual short after t cost t greater than one second for t greater than one second as well they will apply virtual short and they will solve the problem and luckily it would be correct but now i will give you the explanation even if the output is saturated still you will apply the virtual short because we have studied one one concept that when your output is saturated you can't apply virtual short you have you must have studied it right when your output is saturated what we have studied when output is saturated we can't apply virtual short this you have studied it right you can't apply virtual short right this you have studied but now still we will apply virtual short and what is the reason let's check check this out so i will make the circuit at t equals to 1 microsecond at t equals to 1 microsecond what is our circuit so let me pause the video okay so be attentive now just listen to me carefully so at t equals to 1 microsecond this is the circuit your input is changed to 10 volt now input is changed to 10 volt input is changed to 10 volt now your output is still at 10 volt only because here we said that it is saturated output is still at 10 volt only now inductor doesn't changes its current instantaneously that means the current in the inductor will be the same only what will be the current at one microsecond current in the inductor at one microsecond from here you can check it will be 10 into 1 micro divided by 1 milli so basically in one one milli ampere so basically in one microsecond the inductor develops a current of 10 milli ampere that means 10 milli ampere current is flowing but that is flowing in this direction the current is flowing in this direction because inductor doesn't doesn't change it its current instantaneously that's why it is flowing in this direction now what do i say i say that my output is saturated so virtual short should not be valid my output is saturated so my virtual short should not be valid this is what i will say output saturated so what what will happen now if virtual short is not valid the same current will flow through this resistance right now what will happen is that this is our 1 milli henry inductor this is our 10 volt here the current that is flowing is 10 milli ampere this is 1 kilo ohm and output is saturated at 10 volt this is 1 kilo ohm there will be still no current in the input of the op amp zero current in the input of the op amp now there is same current flowing through the resistance and the inductor that means it becomes a simple RL circuit. Now it becomes a simple RL circuit. Why so? Because one end of inductor is connected to 10, 10 volt. The here one end of one kilometer resistor is connected to 10 volt. And the, in the complete RL circuit, the same current is flowing. The current at t equals to zero that is flowing is 10 milliampere. One end of inductor is connected to 10 volt. Other end is also connected to other end of resistance is connected to 10 volt. Now it becomes a simple RL circuit. So now what will happen? Let's talk about Vx potential. This Vx potential. Currently at 1 microsecond, what is Vx potential? At 1 microsecond. Vx potential is 0 volt only, right? Because this same 10 milliampere current is flowing here because inductor is not going to change its current instantaneously. So 10 milliampere current is flowing here. That means this 10 volt will be this 10 volt will be developed on across the resistance. So 10 minus 10, 0 volt. Vx at 1 microsecond is Vx4. Vx at t equals to infinity that means at steady state what will be vx at steady state what will be the value of vx at steady state this inductor will act as short circuit at steady state this inductor will act as short circuit that means vx will be 10 volt so accordingly according to us the vx will rise vx value will rise initially it is at 0 volt after some time it will rise to 0 0.1 volt now let's assume if vx value rises if vx value rises it will rise to 0 0.1 volt positive potential is at 0 negative potential is at 0 0.1 volt what will happen to output immediately the output will go to minus 10 volt are you getting this point or not what did i say 10 volt here 10 volt here that means my inductor will charge exponentially now because this becomes a simple rl circuit if it charge exponentially now i am commenting about vx vx initially it is 0 volt 
बिकॉज टेन मीडियम पेयर इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज वी एक्स एट स्टडी स्टेट विल भी टेन वोल्ट वाई सो बिकॉज एट स्टडी स्टेट इंडक्टर विल भी शॉर्टेड इफ इंडक्टर इज शॉर्टेड दट मीन दिस टेन वोल्ट विल कम टू वी एक्स ओनली सो वी एक्स इज ट्राइंग टू इंक्रीज फ्रॉम टेन टू जीरो द वी एक्स वैल्यू ट्राइज टू इंक्रीज फ्रॉम वन माइक्रो सेकेंड टू जीरो टू टेन बट जस्ट एज इट इंक्रीजेज लिटिल बिट लेट्स जूम इट इंक्रीज टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन जस्ट एज इट इंक्रीजेज हेयर दिस पोटेंशियल v negative potential will be greater than v positive potential so uh, your output from plus 10 to immediately it will go to minus 10 are you able to connect okay till this much time you are able to connect okay now my output has gone to minus 10 now what will happen i'm uh, i'm telling all this just to tell you why virtual short is valid here so my output is minus 10 volt now output is minus 10 inductor still is not changing its instantaneous voltage right sorry instantaneous sorry 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 inductor is still not changing its initial current inductor will still have 10 milliampere well and good now i am saying immediately at t equals to 1 microsecond plus only my output goes to minus 10 volt all this happened immediately only so because of that what will happen okay check now yeah so this was the 10 milliampere current flowing and my output is at minus 10 volt and my vx is nearly 0.001 it tried to go so you can assume that vx is 0.001 or nearly equals to 0 volt only now my vx is nearly equals to 0 volt now here i am having minus 10 volt and here this is nearly equals to 0 volt right this is minus 10 this is nearly equals to 0 volt that means now there will be 10 milliampere current in this resistor but the direction will be this at 1 microsecond my v not is my vx is 0 volt my vx is 0 volt and my v not is at minus 10 volt i proved why it is minus 10 volt so because of that zero here minus 10 here that means in this direction in the in this direction the current in the resistor is 10 milliampere now so the current has changed initially the current in the resistor was this 10 milliampere now the current in the resistor is this 10 milliampere now can there will be can there will be current here in the input of a vamp no there can't be current in the input of a vamp so this same 10 milliampere current has to flow through the inductor so initially the current in the inductor was 10 milliampere but in this direction suddenly we see that the current in the inductor is 10 milliampere in in this direction is that possible no because inductor cannot change its current instantaneously Although it can change its current instantane instantaneously when there is infinite voltage across the inductor, but there is no infinite voltage. If you don't know this concept, what about what is infinite voltage? Just skip it. You know one thing that inductor cannot change its current instantaneously, but there is one exception. If you study network analysis from our playlist, you will get to know when there is infinite voltage across the inductor, it will change its current instantaneously. Okay, so that you can study in the network analysis. But for now, just think. what do you need to think you need to you know that the inductor doesn't changes its current instantaneously but by the analysis what we got to know initially here my in, my output is minus 10 volt but my vx is at 0 volt only or somewhat greater than 0 volt so basically the current will be 10 milliampere in this direction but initially here in the inductor the 10 milliampere current was in this direction so this is not correct so actually my this vx voltage where it all started it all started when i said that vx voltage is rising the problem started when i said that vx voltage is rising what did i say i said that my initial my output is 10 volt now my output is 10 volt now what did i say i said that virtual short is not valid if virtual short is not valid that means my vx will rise my vx will, will rise from 0 to 10 volt if it rises so just about 0 that means if it is rises to 0.1 volt at that time only my output goes to minus 10 if my output goes to minus 10 at that time my current in the resistor would be 10 milliampere but in the opposite direction and if the current in the resistor is 10 milliampere in this direction the same current will be flowing through the inductor in this direction that means initially my current was 10 milliampere in this direction now my current is 10 milliampere in this direction so instantaneously the current got changed which is not possible that means the vx value will not even rise are you getting this point or not so that's why virtual short is valid is valid here even when output is saturated in this particular problem virtual short is valid what is the reason this is the reason i hope you have understood this and i hope i hope you enjoyed the explanation why it is valid 
this is how we needed to think in the examination which is not practically possible it also took a lot of time and uh, a lot of suggestions from a lot of people okay and uh, who helped me in this uh, ram balaji bhaiya the guy who got air one last year he helped me in this okay i alone did not solve this problem i took his help he only guided me how to solve the problem so i was confused why virtual sort will be valid i know that virtual sort will be valid here but what is the reason even when output is saturated still virtual sort is valid the reason is that if you try to increase the output is going from tan to minus tan if output is going from tan to minus tan that means it will change the direction of current it changes the direction of current the same change will happen in inductor which is not possible and if that is not possible that means vx value cannot even change vx value has to stay at 0 volt so i can't actually write this so those who have listened to the explanation they will understand okay so i will just write vx value cannot rise so still virtual sort will be valid so how to solve after that that we will see here what i will write 10 milliampere current that is fine this is my vx here vx value cannot rise above 0 volt that's why virtual short is still valid even when output is saturated so even when the output is saturated your virtual short is still valid saturated your virtual short is still valid that means vx potential will be vx at one microsecond as well it will be zero volt only now it is zero volt vx potential is zero volt tell me one thing now 10 volt here zero volt here this is fixed this is also fixed till what time it is fixed for t1 microsecond to 5 microsecond you can see in the v01 waveform from 1 microsecond to 5 microsecond this is fixed to 10 volt so this is fixed to 10 volt okay this is fixed to 10 volt now this is fixed to 0 volt that means now it will drive the current in this direction it will drive the current in the opposite direction are you getting this point so what was the desired direction of ilt what is the direction we are taking opposite direction so now we can write the exp expression of ilt this is your ilt okay so we have to keep on adding the pages copy page add karne padenge abhi to okay just hold on to the explanation don't give up so quickly there are a lot of things which will be unveiled okay so watch it i am again and again watching at the timer that it is taking too much of time but i hope you are enjoying it if you are enjoying it do like the video and share it with everyone that this kind of analog is being asked nowadays in electronics question paper so you should be ready right so yeah what is happening now we can write the value of ilt again the voltage is constant now so ilt was first it was 10 milliampere in the in this direction now this 10 volt and 0 volt will drive the current in the opposite direction in this direction in this direction so the current will be opposite so that's why there will be negative sign the difference is tan t by l l is 1 milli henry but here in the bracket i will write tan minus 1 microsecond why tan minus 1 microsecond because i am starting from 1 microsecond only now this is my ilt 10 milliampere minus tan into t minus 1 micro second divided by 1 milli so basically what is happening my inductor is driving 10 milliampere current in 1 microsecond that we know right because what is the current current is basically tan t by 1 milli this is our current so in 1 microsecond if t is 1 microsecond if t rises from 0 to 1 that means in 1 microsecond we get 10 milliampere current are you able to understand this point in 1 microsecond we get 10 milliampere current are you able to understand i hope you are able to understand this point that in 1 microsecond we get 10 milliampere current that means in okay let's write v0 t first v0 t will simply be 
ILT into R. Right? Now, think what will be the value of V0 T at 3 microsecond. At 3 microsecond, what will happen? 10 milliampere minus 10 into 2 micro divided by 1 milli. Right? So, 10 milli minus 20 milli into R is 1 kilo. So, this current would be minus 10 into 1 kilo. That means your into 1 kilo. That means your voltage will be minus 10 volt. So, what is happening is what you can see here is that this was our V naught 2T. Actually, this is V naught 2T. V naught 2T, which was initially rising like this. It was initially rising like this. One microsecond. Okay. This is V naught 2T. Then after that, it will decay because the current is decreasing. In this direction, the current is decreasing. The current is increasing in this direction. The current is increasing in this direction, but in this direction, the current is decreasing. Are we able to recall it, right? You are able to understand it, this, right? At t equals to 2 microsecond, what will happen? At t equals to 2 microsecond, the current will be 0. That means your output will be 0 only. So, it is decreasing like this. But at 3 microsecond, at 3 microsecond, your current will be 20 milliampere. Sorry, 10 milliampere, but in the opposite direction, in this direction. At 3 microsecond, you will have 10 milliampere current in this direction. This virtual short is still valid. Now it will go to minus 10 volt. After that, output is saturated, right? Yeah, so a coal came in between. So what I was saying that uh, at uh, 3 microsecond, your current is flowing 10 milliampere, but in this direction now. The current is flowing 10 milliampere in this direction, which I have to erase because this is the circuit for t equals to 1 microsecond only. So now my current is flowing in this direction. So here you can check. Right. This is my, this was my plus 10 volt and in two, in two microsecond, it will develop 20 milliampere current. In one microsecond, we are developing 10 milliampere current. So in two microsecond, we are developing 20 milliampere current. So first in one microsecond, we developed 10 milliampere current in this direction, 10 milliampere current in this direction. In next two microsecond, that means still three microsecond, we developed 20 milliampere current in this direction. So initial current 10 milliampere was in this direction and 20 in this direction. So basically total current is 10 milliampere in this direction without writing the equation how to solve that. This is what I am telling. Otherwise with the equation also you can do, you do, do this. But you just need to know that if there is constant voltage across the inductor, you can find the current developed. In one microsecond, I am developing 10 milliampere current. That's it. And how the direction will be, you can check by the polarity. So polarity is 10. That means the correct direction will be this. If polarity was... 0 minus 10 here, that means the direction would be opposite, right? So, here my current is at two mic at 3 microsecond. IL at 3 microsecond. That is what? Minus 10 milliampere. This is my IL at 3 microsecond. So, what will be my V naught at 3 microsecond? V naught at 3 microsecond is minus 10 volt, right? So, V naught at 3 microsecond is minus 10 10 volt. Now tell me one thing. From 3 to 5 microsecond, what will happen? From 3 to 5 microsecond, it will still be 10 volt. Input will still be 10 volt. Right? Input is not, not changing. For T equals to 3 microsecond to 5 microsecond. What is happening? This is our input, which is at 10 volt. This is not changing. This is what, sorry, inductor was there. This is what, this is what, 10 volt, which is not changing. 1 milli Henry inductor is there. And here we are having, this is my 1 kilo ohm. Okay, and this output is minus 10 volt. And this is my Vx potential. Oh, instead of that, I can simply make an op-amp only. Let's make the op-amp only. This is negative. This is positive. This is the op-amp we are having. This is what is happening for t equals to 3 microsecond to 5 microsecond. Now, we are having 10 milliampere current in this direction. Output is saturated to minus 10 volt. That means output cannot rise above minus 10 volt now. 
output cannot go to minus 11, right? It cannot go to minus 11 volt because output is saturated. Now, if output is saturated, I know one thing, virtual short cannot be valid. So, this potential Vx, Vx will not be equals to 0. So, now what will be my Vx potential? That we need to see. Virtual short is not valid. Output saturated. Output saturated. Virtual short. Basic rule we will never forget. Output is saturated, virtual short is not valid. Then we will analyze the circuit and we'll, we will understand if the virtual short will be valid or not. Virtual short not valid. That means your output V out. That should stay at, ideally it, it, it should stay at minus 10 volt only. But we will check about Vx potential. Once we check Vx potential, then we will be able to comment. So let's check the Vx potential. This is minus 10 volt only, 1 kilo ohm, 1 milli henry. This is 10 volt. And this is here 10 milli ampere. This is my Vx potential. So tell me, what is Vx potential at t equals to 3 microsecond? This is this current is 10 milli ampere only. So Vx potential at 3 microsecond is 0 volt only. Where it would want to go? It would want to go to 10 volt. It would want to go to 10 volt. So Vx is increasing from 0 to 10 volt. If Vx is increasing from 0 to 10 volt, this potential is increasing from 0 to 10 volt, still my output will be minus 10 only. Are you getting this point or not? My Vx will try to increase from 0 to 10 volt. Even if it is increasing from 0 to 10 volt, still my Vx will be minus 10 only because if this potential increases from 0 to 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 here and 0 here output will be minus 10 only so output is not being changed output is at minus 10 that is stable so for 3 to minus 5 second output will remain at minus 10 volt only are you getting this point so that's why vx can increase now oh, oh. this i should not erase so vx can increase now vx will try to increase so what will be the waveform of vx now Vx will try to increase from 0 to 10 volt. So you can write the equation of Vxt that would be from 0 to 10 volt it, it is trying to rise. So 1 minus e to the power minus t by 2. So you are starting from 3 microsecond. That's why I am writing 3 micro by 2. What is the value of 2? Because this becomes a simple RL circuit now. Because that's why it is follow exponential rule. So what is the value of 2? 2 will be L by R. 2 value will be L by R. 1 milli by 1 kilo that would be 1 micro so tau value will be 1 micro but this 10 volt is there for only 2 microsecond that means from 3 microsecond to 5 microsecond so it will get a window of 2 microsecond only that what i mean to say is that it will rise from we are talking about vx right 3 microsecond to 5 micro vx was initially 0 only till 3 microsecond it was 0. Now it will rise from 3 micro to 5 micro to some particular voltage. If time constant is 1 microsecond, what do you think? Can it rise to final voltage? That means can it rise to 10 volt in 2 microsecond gap? No. We will find what is the value of Vx at 5 microsecond. What will be the value of Vx at 5 microsecond? That would be 1 minus e to the power minus 2. Right? So that we need to check. That would be 8.64 volt. So my Vx will ri rise to 8.64 volt. This would be 8.64 volt. If my Vx is 8.64 volt, what was the direction of ILT we were taking? This was the direction of ILT we were taking, right? So can you tell me what will be the value of IL at 5 microsecond? Value of IL at 5 microsecond because this was the direction we took. So value of IL at 5 microsecond would be minus minus 18.64 milliampere right value of il at 5 microsecond will be minus 18.64 milliampere why so because vx is 8.64 and uh, this output is minus 10 so the current will be flowing in this direction that would be 18.64 by 1 kilo ohm 
that means 18.64 milliampere and the same current will be flowing through the inductor in the opposite direction so il value would be 18.64 milliampere 18.64 milliampere explaining this question is tougher than solving it <laughs> okay so i deserve a like because i am pretty sure no one in the youtube complete youtube will solve this problem no one okay so i, I at least deserve a like now yaar so yeah so 18.64 milliampere current is flowing in this direction okay and now we have also found what is it uh, vx value that is 8.64 and my output is saturated at minus 10 volt only because here i got to know that my vx value is increasing if it in increases vx goes to minus 10 only so my output is at minus 10 only for for what this is my v02 for 3 to 5 microsecond for 3 microsecond to 5 microsecond my output will be at minus 10 volt only now what do you think what do you guys think at 5 microsecond only will it again start rising this is my question to you will it again start rising because what is happening at 5 microsecond at t equals to 5 microsecond your input input what is your input that is v01 that is being changed to plus 10 volt now sorry not plus 10 minus 10 volt now at 5 microsecond what is happening your input is being changed to minus 10 volt now now input is changed to minus 10 volt now what is your circuit your circuit is somewhat like this One kilo ohm, one milli Henry V naught. This is this is input V naught one, which is minus ten volt. This V X potential is eight point six four volt only. What is the current flowing in the inductor? That was in this direction. That was eighteen point six four milli ampere. This was the direction only, right? 18.64 milliampere yeah minus sign would be there sorry minus sign would be there yeah so the direction would be this only so 18.64 milliampere this is at t equals to 5 microsecond vx is 8.64 volt what do you think and uh, previously my output is minus 10 volt previously my output is minus 10 volt what do you think what will happen will virtual short be valid now no, it won't be valid. Why it will be valid? Because Vx is already 8.64 volt. How it would be valid? And my output is minus 10 volt. Nothing, nothing is changing. Vx will follow its equation. Again, the equation that we wrote previously, it will follow its equation. Tell me one reason why its virtual short will be valid here. Is there any reason? No. But Vx will not follow its equation. Why so? Because now initial voltage of Vx is 8.64 volt. Initial voltage of Vx is at 5 microsecond. Initial voltage of Vx is 8.64 volt. But steady state voltage has changed. Where it wants to go now? At steady state, inductor will be short circuited. So it wants to go to minus 10 volt. So what will be the equation of Vxt now? Now, value of Vxt would be what will be the value of Vxt? It wants to go to minus 10. And initially, it is at 18.864 uh, so it will be 18.64 e to the power minus t by tau t you are starting from 5 micro by tau value is 1 micro now tell me one thing what is happening now 8.642 it is going to low value okay now from 8.64 it is going to low value let's assume it goes to 5 volt if it is 5 volt here v negative is 5 volt v positive is Sorry, V negative is 5 volt, V positive is 0. Output is minus 10. Okay, satisfied. Then it goes to 2 volt. Because it is decreasing. Vx value is decreasing. Because it is going from 8.6 volt to minus 10. Okay, I, I am drawing the waveform of Vx as well here. This is the waveform of Vx. So, this was time 5 microsecond, right? So, at 5 microsecond, 8.64 volt is there, right? And it is trying to decrease from 8.6 volt to till minus 10 volt but will it go till minus 10 volt this is what we need to see 
वी हैव अ बैंड विथ ऑफ फोर माइक्रो सेकेंड बिकॉज फ्रॉम फाइव टू नाइन माइक्रो सेकंड माई इनपुट विल बी माइनस टेन वोल्ट ओनली दैट इज फॉर श्योर फ्रॉम फाइव टू नाइन माइक्रो सेकंड माई इनपुट विल बी माइनस टेन वोल्ट ओनली नाउ माई वी एक्स इज ट्राइंग टू गो बिलो सो इट गोज टू टू वोल्ट वॉट इज एपनिंग माइनस टेन वोल्ट ओनली हेयर टू वोल्ट माइनस टेन वोल्ट ओनली इट गोज टू जीरो पॉइंट वन वोल्ट वॉट इज एपनिंग हेयर जीरो पॉइंट वन हेयर जीरो माइनस टेन वोल्ट इज सेटिस्फाइड इट गोज टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन वोल्ट इट गोज बिलो जीरो इट गोज बिलो जीरो नॉट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन इट गोज टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन वोल्ट जस्ट बिलो जीरो वॉट विल एपन माई आउटपुट विल गो फ्रॉम माइनस टेन टू प्लस टेन वोल्ट ओके नाउ इफ माई आउटपुट गोज टू माइनस टेन टू प्लस टेन वोल्ट एट दैट टाइम करंट ऑल्सो वुड हैव डिक्रीज करंट वुड हैव डिक्रीज टू हेयर वैन इट वॉज जीरो वोल्ट वैन इट वॉज जीरो वोल्ट वैन इट वॉज जीरो वोल्ट एट दैट टाइम द करंट वुड हैव बीन जीरो माइनस टेन टेन मिली एम पेयर जीरो माइनस टेन टेन मिली एम पेयर करंट राइट सो एट दैट टाइम दिस करंट दिस विच वी आर राइटिंग एटीन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर दिस वुड हैव बीन टेन मिली एम पेयर राइट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पॉइंट माई वी एक्स वैल्यू इज डिक्रीजिंग इफ माई वी एक्स वैल्यू इज डिक्रीजिंग माई करंट इज ऑल्सो डिक्रीजिंग दिस करंट इज ऑल्सो डिक्रीजिंग बिकॉज एट स्टडी स्टेट दिस करंट नीड्स टू बी जीरो एट स्टडी स्टेट सॉरी एट स्टडी स्टेट इंडक्टर विल बी शोर्टेड इफ इंडक्टर इज शोर्टेड हेयर माइनस टेन विल बी देर एंड हेयर ऑल्सो माइनस टेन सो द करंट विल बी जीरो वी हैव एंड राइट टू टू दिस कंडीशन फर्गेट अबाउट द प्लस टेन कंडीशन वी आर जस्ट एट दिस कंडीशन माइनस टेन एट स्टडी स्टेट दिस विल बी माइनस टेन एज वेल सो माइनस टेन माइनस टेन दट मीन द करंट इन द रजिस्टर वुड भी जीरो दट मीन द करंट इन द इंडक्टर विल ऑल्सो भी जीरो सो माई करंट इज डिक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम एटीन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर टू जीरो मिली एम पेयर राइट बट एट टी इक्वल टू जीरो माई करंट वुड भी टेन मिली एम पेयर इन दिस डायरेक्शन नाउ इफ इट गोज जस्ट बिलो जीरो वोल्ट दैट मीन्स एट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन वोल्ट इंडक्टर हैज द प्रॉपर्टी दैट आई विल नॉट चेंज माई करंट इंडक्टर इज सेंग दैट आई विल कीप माई करंट टेन मिली एम पेयर ओनली बट नाउ इफ इट इफ इट गोज बिलो जीरो वोल्ट दैट मीन्स माई इनपुट हेयर विल बी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन वोल्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट माई आउटपुट विल बी प्लस टेन वोल्ट नाउ इफ माई आउटपुट इज प्लस टेन वोल्ट वोट विल हैपन हेयर टेन वोल्ट एंड हेयर नियरली जीरो वोल्ट दैट मीन्स टेन मिली एम पे करंट विल फ्लो इन दिस डायरेक्शन इफ दिस टेन मिलियम पे करंट फ्लोज इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट मीन्स द सेम करंट विल बी फ्लोइंग इन द इंडक्टर एज वेल सो इनिशियली माई करंट वॉज फ्लोइंग टेन मिली एम पेयर इन दिस डायरेक्शन जस्ट आफ्टर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सेकंड द करंट इज फ्लोइंग टेन मिली एम पेयर इन ओपोजिट डायरेक्शन कैन दैट हैपन नो दैट मीन्स अगेन वर्चुअल शॉर्ट विल बी वैलिड से यस और नो so the output in the question what you are understanding the output is not changing its condition immediately the output is not changing its condition immediately why so because if it is changing the condition immediately that means the direction of the current in the inductor will be changed that's why they gave the inductor if they had given the capacitor it wouldn't be a problem why so because capacitor can change its current instantaneously it's not that in capacitor At t equals to zero minus, you are having zero ampere current. At t equals to zero plus, you can have five ampere current. That is understandable in capacitor, but in inductor, at uh, just below five microsecond, you are having or some microsecond. Just below some microsecond, you are having ten milli ampere current. But after that, you are having minus ten milli ampere current. That is not acceptable in case of inductor. So this is the wrong. This is what is happening wrong here. So that means virtual short will be valid. But when virtual short will be valid? When at the time when V X goes to zero volt. So when V X goes to zero volt, at that time only virtual short will be valid. Are you getting this point? So for that we need to find when V X goes to zero volt. Are you getting this point? So that's why I wrote the equation of V X. So V X can go down. V X can go down, but it will go down till zero volt only. And till the time V X goes to zero. At till that time, your V naught will be minus 10 volt only because 8.642. Let's assume 2 volt. If it is 2 volt only, V naught will be minus 10 volt only. If it is 0.02 volt, V naught will be minus 10 volt only. So till the time V X goes to 0 volt, your output will be saturated at minus 10 only. So a lot of teachers also <laughs> forget about student. A lot of teacher will make the graph like this, but that is wrong. After some time, it will rise. And what is that time? We can find that. right so here what did we understand i hope you are doing this question with me in your rough notebook then only you will be able to under then you only you will be able to understand otherwise you you will not be able to understand so what i should write till vx goes to 0 volt 
your output will be saturated to minus 10 volt only your output will be saturated to minus 10 volt only right when vx is equal to 0 even when output is saturated even when output is at minus 10 volt virtual short will be valid say yes or no right so we just need to find when your vx goes to 0 volt so minus 10 plus 18.64 e to the power minus we are starting from 5 mi microsecond divided by 2 that should be equals to 0 so time t would come out to be 10 by 18.64 10 by 18.64 ln plus minus plus 5 5.62 microsecond 5.62 microsecond so even when the input has changed the output will still be saturated to minus 10 volt till what time 5.62 microsecond after 5.62 microsecond what will happen <laughs> we will analyze that so just one thing we got to know that what will be our vx waveform let's assume this is 5 this is 5.62 so vx we started from 8.64 we started from 8.64 volt and we go till 0 volt right this is my vx waveform and what about that final output waveform output waveform is from 3 microsecond to 5.62 microsecond the output will be at what minus 10 volt only right after that what is happening the virtual short is valid for t greater than 5.62 microsecond virtual short will be will be valid when when vx is 0 volt Right? when vx is 0 volt at that time your virtual short will be valid this was our op amp one milli henry this is what is the input voltage now 10 volt right this we are making for t 5.62 to 9 microsecond this is resistance r what is your output output is minus 10 only because it can't change instantaneously to 10 volt it can't go instantaneously to minus 10 to plus 10 so output is minus 10 volt only output is minus 10 volt only and this is 1 kilo okay and so this is 0 volt only this is minus 10 only so what is the current in the inductor as the, at that time the current is 10 milli ampere Right, the current in the inductor is 10 milliampere because this is 0 volt so this is 0 minus 10 10 milliampere although you can write the equation of in inductor current as well here you will get the same answer but instead of writing inductor current i am writing vx voltage because that is the more important part right so that's why i am writing vx voltage so 0 minus 10 10 that means 10 milliampere current is flowing so the same current is flowing in in the inductor that is 10 milliampere and virtual short is valid now right now virtual short is valid now what happens minus 10 here zero here that means it will drive some current in this direction now you can tell me in how much time your output will be changing i, I will directly draw the circuit now i am not writing any equation now i will directly draw the output waveform what is happening tell me this is 5.62 microsecond it will take some time i don't know how much time it will take so it will take some time now this is this is my output which is at minus 10 volt now the current this 10 volt will be driving some current in this direction that means it will decrease this 10 milliampere current if this 10 milliampere current is decreasing that means the current in this direction is decreasing that means output will rise now right 
and in 2 microsecond in 2 microsecond what will happen it will make the current it will develop the current 20 milliampere so initial 10 milliampere current was there in this direction in 2 microsecond it will develop 20 milliampere current in this direction so total current would be 10 milliampere current in this direction so 10 milliampere current would be flowing in this direction after 2 microsecond after 2 microsecond from here that means till 8.62 microsecond 8.62 microsecond what will be happening this will rise linearly this will rise linearly linearly it will rise and it will rise till 10 volt it will rise till 10 volt only okay so uh, why so because 10 milliampere current is flowing in this direction that means this 10 milliampere current is flowing in this direction that it will give a drop of 10 volt here so 0 plus 0 minus 10 0 plus 10 would be plus 10 only right 0 plus 10 would be plus 10 only right so this is happening now after plus 10 it cannot rise right so again what will happen virtual sort will not be valid so after 8.62 volt after 8.62 microsecond v naught will be plus 10 but we have a window of 0.38 microsecond only because after 9 microsecond what will happen the input will change we have a window of this much so now we need to write the equations again but now we will do it quickly okay v naught 2 is 10 volt okay so now v naught 2 is 10 volt saturated virtual short not valid virtual short not valid if virtual short is not valid what will happen again i have to see the circuit this is my circuit the input is still at what what voltage you need to you should pause the video and write the expression on your own output is at 10 volt now this is 1 kilo ohm this is 1 milli henry this is my minus 10 volt this is my vx vx initially it is at t equals to 8.62 microsecond at t equals to 8.62 microsecond it is at 0 volt vx at infinity tries to go to minus 10 volt right so what will be the equation of vx it tries to go to minus 10 volt we are starting from 8.62 micro with time constant being 1 micro but we have a window of only 0 0.38 microsecond so vx at t equals to 9 microsecond what will be the value of vx at t equals to 9 microsecond okay now what is happening it is going down from 0 to minus 10 so it is going down so here it will go down from 0 to minus 10 volt let's assume if it is minus 1 volt output will be plus 10 only so that is acceptable right this circuit is i should remove this now we are talking for t greater than 8.62 second we are talking for t greater than 8.62 second so instead of instead of doing it here i should do it here now this is going from 0 to minus 10 volt that means it is decreasing and here we are having op amp right here we are having the op amp here we are having the op amp Here we are having the op amp so this vx potential which is going down from 0 to minus 10 if it is going down from 0 to minus 10 that means it will be plus 10 only at minus 0 0.1 it will be plus 10 at minus 9 volt it will be plus 10 at minus 10 volt it will be plus 10 only because v negative is negative so it will be plus 10 only so there is no issue with that so it can go down virtual short is not valid it is going down so it is going down like this Eight point six two zero point three eight plus minus e to the power minus one plus minus into ten. So till minus three point one six it goes down. Till minus three point one six. So this is happening for t till nine microsecond. After that, what is happening? Vx value is going down. Okay, Vx waveform we can draw here. Vx waveform we can draw 8.62 micro to 9 micro. It will go on, although it will go on. This was 0 from okay, 0 to it was going down from 0 to some value till now it has gone down to minus 3.16 volt. But what will happen at t equals to 9 microsecond? What is happening? 
your input is getting changed. Input is get, getting changed to plus 10 volt, right? And this is this. What is the inductor current? Inductor current is this is minus 3.16 at at 9 microsecond, this is minus 3.16 and this is 10 volt only. This is 10 volt only. So inductor current is 13.6 milliampere. 13.6 milliampere. The current is 13.6 milliampere. The inductor current is 13.6 milliampere current in this direction. Right? And this is 1 kilo. And this is 1 milliampere. Vx voltage is negative. Now, if it goes more down, if it goes more down, is there any issue? No, but it will not go more, more down because Vx value at t equals to 9 microsecond is minus 3.16 volt. Vx value at infinity, it will try to go to plus 10 volt because at steady state, this will be shorted. So, it will try to go to plus 10 volt. So, minus 3.162, it is increasing till 10 volt, but till what potential it will increase? till 0 only. Why so? Because if this potential increases above 0, if this potential increases above 0, what will happen? Let's assume it increases to 0 0.1. What will happen? This will immediately go to minus 10. If this immediately goes to minus 10, that means it will immediately drive the current to be 10 milliampere in this direction. That changes the direction of this current, which cannot happen. We have seen this again and again, right? So, at the time Vx goes to 0 volt, at that time, at that particular time only, your output will be, your, vir your virtual short will be valid. So, when Vx goes to 0, your virtual short will be valid. So, this is how we need to check. This was the depth of the question. This, this question was not for the students. This question was for the educators. That it is a challenge from ISC to solve this problem for the educators. Because student could take the answer after solving first stage only. Okay, one microsecond delay, take the answer. Forget about the next stage. But will the teachers be able to understand why virtual short is not valid, why virtual short is valid, when it is valid, what is happening in the circuit? Right? Yeah, so, VX equation we can write. We are going to 10 volt. We are starting from e to the power minus e 9 microsecond, right? My toe, toe is 1 microsecond. So, when Vx goes to 0, at that time, virtual short will be valid. When Vx goes to 0 volt, virtual short will be valid. Okay, so we need to find the time. That means 10 minus 13.6 e to the power minus t minus 9 micro divided by 1 micro that would be equal to 0. 10 by 13.6 ln 10 by 13.6 ln plus minus plus 9 that means it is 9.3 so till 9.3 microsecond this will be the output till 9.3 microsecond the output will be plus 10 only so for 9 to 9.3 microsecond output will be plus 10 only after that virtual short will be valid and again the cycle will go on 9 to 9.3 9 to 9.3 volt your output v02 will be 10 volt only right after that the cycle will go on. So, now we can draw the final waveform. We can draw the waveform of Vx as well. So, Vx was starting from minus 3.16, right? Minus 3.16. Okay, it was minus 3.16, so 13.16. Here I wrote 13.6, sorry, sorry. 13.16 it should be. 13.16 by 10 ln 13.16 by 10 oh, 10 by 13.16 ln 
plus minus 9.27 9.27 microsecond nearly it is 9.3 only okay 9.3 only 9.27 9.27 7. so from minus 3.162 it decays down to 0 so this is the waveform of vx this is what is happening the gap is only very less 9.27 microsecond now we can draw the final waveforms right so v naught one initially it was rising linearly okay i think this is what i should do let's talk about v naught one v naught two final output it was rising linearly to 10 volt then what happened then it decayed down virtual sort was valid and it decayed down to minus 10 volt and it reaches there in time of till the time of 3 microsecond that means in 2 microsecond it reaches there then it will be saturated but it will not be saturated till 5 microsecond but it will be saturated after that as well that time will be somewhat 5.6 5.62 so it will be saturated till 5.62 micro second after that what will happen it will rise linearly it will rise again linearly then what will happen again it will be saturated but it will be saturated till what point not till 9 microsecond how much time it will take two again two more microseconds so it will be 8.62 microsecond so it will be saturated till this point this point would be 9.27 microsecond and again what will happen again it will decay and the cycle will go on right i think i should write those in better way this is 8.62 this is 9.27 this is 5.62 this is 3 only 3 only this is a time in micro second okay. what was happening with vx vx was till this time virtual short was valid very easily virtual short was valid till this time what about vx vx was 0 till this time what happened afterward after 3 microsecond what happened it started rising right after 3 microsecond started rising to 8.64 volt it rises to 8.64 volt okay, this voltage will be minus 10 volt right it rises to 8.64 volt This will be 5.62. Okay. And then what happens? Then after 5 seconds, it, it decays to 8.64 to 0. Okay. After 5 microseconds, it was decaying. Sorry for that. After 5 microseconds only, it was decaying. First, it, it rises, then it decays. right this was 8.64 volt it decays till somewhat 5.62 microsecond and this is 3 microsecond then what happens after 5.62 microsecond what happens from 5.62 microseconds to did not withdraw it for okay when virtual sort is valid it will again come to zero only Okay, yeah, 5.642, 5.62 to 8.62. Virtual short is valid, so again it will be 0 only. 8.62, 8.62. After that, what will happen? It will decay. After 8.62 microsecond, it will decay to 
थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स माइनस थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स टिल वो टिल नाइन माइक्रो सेकेंड दिस इज माइनस थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स वोल्ट दिस इज नाइन माइक्रो सेकेंड देन अगेन इट विल डिके टू डिके डाउन टू जीरो डिके डाउन टू जीरो टिल वो टाइम नाइन पॉइंट टू सेवन एंड टिल द टाइम नाइन पॉइंट टू सेवन एंड टिल द टाइम वेन वर्चुअल शोट इज वैलिड इट विल अगेन बी जीरो एंड वेन आउटपुट इज सेचुरेटेड वॉट विल हैपन इट विल स्टार्ट राइजिंग अगेन अगेन इट विल राइज अगेन इट विल डिके again it will rise and this mean time only it will decay so this cycle would go on for bx so i hope you understood this problem i hope you liked the lecture i hope you realize why i took 90 80 minutes for this for first 20 minute we solved the first circuit only and for next 60 minutes i told you the complete concept and believe me you can go to my channel and check out the same kind of problem i have solved for same similar circuit but there was capacitor involved but the capacitor was in feedback nearly the same kind of circuit there this thing was happening in my channel i have solved that so <laughs> i am not flexing it but when i teach analog i teach in this way but look in exam hall do you really think it will take you 90 minutes or 80 minutes no 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 in exam hall you will quickly see okay initially one microsecond delay would be there if you have enough practice you can draw the output of smith trigger in no time you will just draw the output of smith trigger okay one microsecond delay and even if there are there are two option what you will do you will understand that it will take only two microsecond time to reach till the steady state after that it will be saturated only so go go up then go down then it will be saturated then go up saturated go down saturated so it will go like this then the structure will be trapezoidal within 3 to 4 minutes this problem can be solved in the examination if you have studied deeply but i am say 99.5% student will not be able to solve this problem and even if they had solved just by the luck they would have got the correct answer because they wouldn't even think that it will go to the saturation till 5.62 microsecond not till 5 microsecond only so 5.62 microsecond it will go so this is the trapezoidal waveform this is the complete analysis this is the complete output waveform okay so i hope you loved the lecture i hope you liked the lecture this was the best possible best question ever in the gate history So I hope you you will share this lecture everywhere to every educator share this lecture okay to every educator and let them know what kind of problems teachers uh, ISC or gate requires for, especially for easy students so they will also improve their content and they will teach you accordingly okay yeah so thank you and don't forget to like the video.